ADHD in relationship struggles. Comment down below if this resonates with you. I was diagnosed ADD at 13. I was re-diagnosed ADHD at 17. So I like to share uh, based on what I have just learned in life. And so the first one is, if you're new to the channel, hit the like and subscribe button. Hyper fixation on a partner, which comes across as like needing, comes across as in clingy, like you're afraid to lose this partner. It literally, you, you hyper fixate on your partner that like there's blinders to the world and all it is is your partner and it can come across as being a lot. I think this is where sometimes that term of like if you have ADHD and I think we've all kind of been told this before is like you're a lot. I think this is where actually that term really comes from, especially in a relationship that's new, that we are so hyper fixated on it that it literally we can suffocate and snub out the person. Now, the second one is falling hard and fast, man. We can fall hard and fast in love with somebody. And it literally, our brain has like this whole new project all of a sudden. This is new. It's fresh. It's stimulating to our brain. It's stimulating to everything about us. And we ignore red flags. We ignore that maybe we don't have anything in common. We think that this person is the one. It's very easy for people with ADHD to fall in love very fast, move very quickly in a relationship, only for it to grenade itself because you never went through the proper steps of actually seeing if you guys like each other or not. I've been guilty of this. Number three is emotional sabotage. I mean, we will emotionally sabotage ourselves when it comes to overreacting to intense emotions to fighting to just outbursts to taking things sometimes even the wrong way and snapping at our partner becoming aggressive with our partner verbally or just becoming flat out frustrated can definitely self-sabotage our relationship and it breaks down our communication skills and especially when we have adhd we like just jump right to it all of a sudden and that's not a healthy thing to do frequent interruptions is another and we will interrupt our partners left and right and we'll try and finish their sentences we're trying to speed up whatever they're trying to share to us and we are not living in the moment with our partners this is something i've also been very guilty of is you know finishing your partner's stories and during conversations it's very frustrating and challenging for communication to happen when you're constantly interrupting and cutting off your partner it, it doesn't validate them it doesn't validate their feelings I had to learn literally when my when my wife is talking to me, just let my wife talk, listen to what she's saying. And I have to focus on that a little bit. Otherwise, I'm very guilty of this. And eventually it gets to the point, if you continually interrupt a cutoff and don't let your partner share or talk, they're going to stop talking to you. That's inevitable. Boredom after the honeymoon phase is another. And if you know, you know, boredom after the honeymoon phase is, is a real struggle. Ultimately, we have all this excitement. We're wooing and courting our partner. We're so in love with them. And now all of a sudden it's like there's not another step. So now we're bored. You know, I mean, a lot of times people with ADHD, we, we are very routine. We are structured to an extent. So we know it's like dating to like moving in together to, you know, Facebook official, whatever you want to call it, to um, engage, to marriage, then what? Now there's nothing. Now there's no other step. And now all of a sudden, guess what? We get bored and we're looking for external stimulation. This is something that's very destructive to a lot of marriages out there, especially if you're ADHD, especially if it's undiagnosed. I have personally struggled with this a lot. Um, it is one of these that at the end of it, what, what more is there? There's nothing more. And it's a scary place to be at because your brain starts to go in ways that it shouldn't, that are not healthy at all for your relationship. If you know what I'm talking about in these, I mean, I do videos like this not to diagnose anyone. If you want to get diagnosed, I have it down below. You can click the link right there at the ADHD online, Eric B. Zink. Uh, and I actually get tested for ADHD. I do this though, because the more that we share, the more that you understand and you can learn about ADHD and some of the struggles. I don't think it is necessarily, you know, a handicap to be ADHD. It's just, it's a lot to know what you're working with. I mean, hit the like and follow button comment down below if you understand if you have struggled with some of this because the more that we share the more that you learn to understand the more that you hear other people's coping techniques you know, other people's coping skills but i think the biggest one especially with adhd is that we learn that we're not alone we're not the only ones that feel this way we're not the only ones that have the same frustration we're not the only ones that struggle and i think that's key for us when it comes to a relationship i have found that yes relationship counseling and therapy is good it is not a bad thing to do you might think it's a bad thing to do, but guess what? It is not a bad thing to do because it helps keep that communication constant. And that's something that a lot of times we miss out on. 
Another thing also is, is spending time and putting your phone down and having your time together, remembering to always date your partner, remembering to always fight for your partner and to, to have this relationship because a lot of times we do take it for granted. And again, I'm not an expert when it comes to this. I just like to share because it's nice to know that you're not going through life alone, that you're not doing these struggles alone and knowing that it's okay, you're normal, you got this. So hit that like and follow button. Remember, go right now, stop, kiss your partner, tell them that you love them. Have a beautiful day.